All right, okay. So, um, my name is Simon. Um, thank you all for coming for this quick lightning talk. Um, and it would have been a perfect fit if I would have just come after the uh, colleague from SUSE that just spoke earlier uh, because of me. Um, what we have been doing, so I work for IBM, and as some of you might have realized that IBM just bought this company called Red Hat a couple of um, months ago, which brings me into the position that I now um, have Cloud Foundry and OpenShift, right, as two products um, in, within the same company. So one of the things that we did, and this is what we're going to talk about here at the summit and what I'm also going to quickly show is um, we were thinking, hey, Cloud Foundry has this great you know, developer experience. OpenShift has this great secure container runtime. Why can't we you know, see if we can get things together and see if that works, right, just, just to hack it out. And that's basically what we did, and that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to, the demo, I'm just going to give a demo. I have no slides whatsoever. And the only thing I'm going to show you is a CF push on OpenShift. Okay, so in order to get started here, right, is the following. Um, you can uh, go here in the, uh, this is the IBM Cloud Catalog, right, and it has this OpenShift thing. And what I did in preparation of the meeting is I spun up an OpenShift cluster. This is this guy. It's running here, and I can basically spin up my OpenShift um, uh, container platform catalog, and you actually see the, see the catalog. And when I go to the application view or the application console of this OpenShift catalog, you can actually see that in here there is a, a namespace called CF. And if you go down uh, here, you actually see any known Cloud Foundry component that you already know. So you have Cloud controllers, Dopplers, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, um, the enabler for all of this, which is called Irene. And so um, this is a uh, SCF, BCF um, uh, um, technology, so containerized Cloud Foundry deployment. And as you can easily see here, there's also an Irene namespace that has been created. Or, well, I created it when I prepared. And at this point in time, it's just totally empty. There's nothing in here. Right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And oops, I um, let me oops, let me do, let me start over from scratch. I'm gonna overrun for a minute, but I hope that's fine. Um, so I am going to log into. Um, I have already logged into my OpenShift cluster, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, as you all know, set a CF API, um, and this one. So you can clearly see here is now targeted this cluster, this OpenShift cluster that I'm that I'm running on. Um, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this thing, um, and everybody who has been working with Cloud Foundry should see this fairly easy, right? So I'm going to log into a space. I'm going to log into a log. I'm going to do a CF apps, and. Um, as expected, there are no apps found. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can actually read it. Um, so now I am uh, looking into, I'm standing into a Git repository called Cloud Foundry Enterprise Storefront Front End. I didn't come up with a shorter name because I just like long names. Um, and all that I'm going to do now is I'm going to CF push this directory, right? And we all see in this screen, like probably most everybody in this room has seen this screen 150 times. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to wait. Well, actually, maybe a little bit too early still. So it, this is staging and tracing. Uh, sorry, this is staging the, the application now, as you, as you are aware from any kind of Cloud Foundry uh, thing. Uh, so it's doing the build and you know everything. And at one point in time, when it actually starts, I am about to start up the container, let's wait for that. Um, then I'm going to switch over and you can actually see that there is going to be uh, a container here in open open uh, shift right and um, so you actually see there the uh, cloud foundry or the, the irene piece is going to do a you know app starting so you can you can see this little gray thing here on the side um, it'll turn blue in a second uh, voila this is when the actual container is up and running and as you would have expected 
Um, now this guy, I can go here, I can take a look at it, I can treat it like as any other application has, that has been natively pushed to OpenShift. And as a fun part, I have a route also registered with this guy that I can now go and pull up. So, <laughs> so thank you very much for that. Um, that kind of concludes the demo that I want to do as this lightning talk. Um, I'll do that in a little bit more elaborated fashion tomorrow at the keynote, and there's also going to be a longer demo someday tomorrow. Just look it up in the schedule. Um, if you have any more questions, you know where to find me. Thank you for listening.